Hey guys, and welcome back to The Gerbil Vine. Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video and helping the gerbils and I spread around good care information. Thank you to all of our returning subscribers, and if you're new here, welcome, and please hit that like and subscribe button so that you never miss our videos. So I don't know about where you guys live, but here where I live in Canada, we have crazy weather. One day it's cold and rainy, the next it's extremely humid and sunny, and due to this, it can be challenging to help the gerbils regulate their temperature. Because we are approaching on what looks to be like a high temperature season, I thought putting out a video on how to help keep your gerbils cool would be helpful to some of you guys who are also struggling with heat management, as well as going over some of the signs that your gerbils may need to be cooled down. We all get hot and gerbils are no exception to this. I have found that my gerbils are most comfortable in temperatures between 20 and 27 degrees Celsius, um, and I do have a hygrometer so that I can monitor this. Anything higher than 27 degrees Celsius and I begin to take steps to start cooling down their tank. Some warning signs that your gerbils may be overheating um, and something to look out for would be your gerbils sleeping outside of their burrows, including above ground or in a topper if you have one, drinking more water than they normally do, or sleeping in their sand as it's cooler. You may also notice your gerbils sleeping separately, um, which generally could be a cause for concern. Um, but if you know that it's been a little bit warmer lately, you can just chalk it up to the fact that they don't need to snuggle together for warmth. If your gerbil seems lethargic, disoriented, or wobbly, you should get them to a vet immediately as they could be suffering from heat stroke, um, and this is something that can be detrimental to small animals. There are many things you can do to help keep your gerbils cool in summer. You can buy items that will naturally remain a bit more cooler, and this includes things like ceramic tunnels or pots or granite tiles. Even having some rocks or stones in your tank can provide your gerbils with a cooler place to hang out on. You can actually freeze items as well so that they have an extra cool place to hang out on. I do find that the items start to get warm again after about 10 minutes or so from putting them back in the tank. So if you want to, it's a good idea to keep multiple items in your freezer so that you can just swap them out um, every 10 minutes or so if you're really struggling and you're having a really hot day. Having an air conditioner to help cool down the room the tank is in would be a really great investment. And I have to say that they're super effective at cooling down the room and the gerbil's tank fairly quickly. Air conditioners can be quite pricey, um, and if you can't afford one, you could always use like an oscillating fan to create a breeze um, if you don't want to buy a large air conditioning unit. It won't cool down the temperature of the tank, um, but what it will help to do is circulate air so that it's not thick, still, and humid. So if it makes sense, the fan will help remove the humidity from the tank, but it won't actually cool down the tank. not advised to have a fan blowing directly on the tank, particularly if your fan is super strong and loud. You'll know if the fan is too strong as bedding and everything else will start to blow around the tank creating like some sort of tornado effect. If the fan is too loud, it has the potential to stress out your gerbils so you do want to make sure that it is on the quieter side. If you notice any stressful behaviors in your gerbils or if they seem extra spooked, it would be best to not blow the fan directly in their enclosure. If you have a quiet fan blowing a soft light breeze into your tank, I can't see it doing much harm for your gerbils. In the summer months, if you find that your tank is extremely hot and you just for the life of you cannot cool it down, the final option I recommend would be to house your gerbils in your basement if you have one or the coolest room in your house. So if you are housing your gerbils in the upper part of your home like I am, you do need to pay more attention to the overall temperature of the tank in the summer months. Because gerbils generally live in glass tanks, it can be really difficult to create a decent airflow in order to circulate the still air, which is why I recommended using a fan if you don't have an air conditioner. If you live in an apartment, just make sure that your gerbils are out of direct sunlight, especially in the summer months. Tanks hold heat and humidity, um, it's what they were designed for, and you definitely want to make sure that your gerbils are comfortable and not directly placed in the smoldering sun. 
The final method of helping to cool your gerbils down would be to provide them with vegetables that are high in water. This isn't something you want to make a huge habit of, but green leaf, lettuce, and cucumbers, among some others, can help provide your gerbils with an extra bit of hydration. Always make sure that they have access to water. This is something that is extremely important, um, regardless if it's summer or not, but in summer you really should be making sure that they have um, fresh water. You may notice that your gerbils are drinking more than they usually do, so please make sure to monitor this. Every single day I fill up their water bottle and their water bowl um, with cold water. There are many steps you can take to prevent your gerbils from overheating and many things you can do to provide them with a cool living space in the warmer months. From freezing items to cooling down the room and their tank, and even providing them with fresh vegetables are all things that will help them stay comfortable and hydrated. So that concludes today's video. I hope we were able to help some of you guys out who are struggling um, with heat management in your gerbils. And we do wanna say thank you all so much for watching. As always, make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads. Thank you. Bye.